Hi everyone, welcome back to Painting at Home. I'm Jean Moss. Today is a very special Friday. I'm feeling a little frisky today. So our subject today is going to be riding in a hot air balloon. Very exciting day for us. Now, if you tuned in yesterday, you'll know yesterday was just as exciting. We had a four o'clock wine and watercolor happy hour. This morning I've got my coffee, I've got my subject, and I'm ready to paint. I hope you're ready to paint too. Let's get started. So I've already outlined how I'm going to draw my hot air balloon. I've always dreamed about flying above, you know? I've never actually seen a hot air balloon, only in pictures, um, just from Google. But I've went ahead and I drew one, uh, and I'm not sure the proportions are exactly right, but you know what, that's the beauty, is your hot air balloon can be any, any shape you really want it to be. As long as it flies, I think that's the way forward. Now, yesterday was a very exciting t uh, day because we introduced watercolors into our paintings. So I have watercolor here, and as you know, previously we've been using um, crayons, uh, both by Crayola, and today is an extra special fun day for our hot, hot air balloon because we're going to be using both crayon and paint. Let's see what comes to life. I've already outlined things, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start using maybe uh, for our basket here, um, I think I'm gonna start using our crayons. Now I have a couple of options, very exciting as well. We have a full palette of crayons today, everybody, thanks to Crayola. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my little brown here, and I'm just gonna outline what I've already done. Baskets, I believe, are brown from what I've seen in photographs. So we're gonna go ahead and just outline that bad boy. Oh, wonderful. Now I'm outlining to start just so we can maybe introduce how we're going to do some shading our color palette. Now baskets, I believe that this is of a wicker nature. Now for those of you who don't know what a wicker basket is, uh, is it is a woven basket. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little texture to that. Now we've done this before, that staccato motion, right? So I'm gonna do that starting off with this lovely brown crayon. This is called raw sienna. It's a great name for a crayon. And we're just gonna go ahead and keep kind of shading just to get that woven sort of texture. And let's go ahead and just do a couple of those. Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a different coloring crayon and I might add a little pressure on this side. Let's say our sun today is coming from this way. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and add this side. Great, now let's go ahead and add uh, a different kind of color. Maybe a darker brown. Ooh, or maybe something like plum. This is what this crayon is called, is plum. Maybe I'll add a little purple texture to my basket. You can choose whatever color you wanna to add to your basket. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, fantastic Friday. If you're just joining us, I am Jean Moss. We are painting at home, and today's a special day because we're painting with both crayon and also uh, watercolor paints. It is hot air balloon day. It's a very exciting day for me. A hot air balloon has always been a dream for me uh, to go into a hot air balloon. I think they fly above the sky from what I've read. Okay, so we're just texturizing our basket here. If you haven't, maybe grab a cup of coffee or a tea, whatever you like in your morning. I'm just adding a little bit of shading. And now I'm doing another uh, little vertical gesture here just to get a little more of that shading coming in. Perfection. And let's do that on the other side as well. Now the inside of the basket, I'm just going to do a light stroke. Just stroke that very lightly, but maybe add a little bit, oh, just a little bit more pressure right here to just get that shading. Very good. And then we're going to go ahead and color that in. Wonderful. We're almost to the fun part, everybody, the actual balloon part. Now I'm going to invite you all, if you're drawing your own balloons at home, I hope you are, um, you get to decide whatever you want on your balloon. I think I'm gonna make a lovely watercolor uh, shape on my balloon today. I'm very excited about it. I'm really particularly excited about this sort of cross, cross training of our mediums here, right? So we're using both colored crayon today and we're also using watercolor paints. Why not? All right, those of you just joining us at home, we're doing hot air balloons today on painting, uh, painting at home. And I've drawn my basket and I've drawn my ropes, and now we're going to get to the fun part. This is the best part, is the balloon part. We have our crayons, and we also have our paints. So now, for those of you who tuned in yesterday, we did a little watercolor. <clears throat> I have my palette right here. So I have some wonderful colors. I've got some Easter egg colors and then I've got some very bold colors. If you are unaware of what watercolor paint is, it's basically just adding water to paint. 
it's going to dilute the color a little bit and it gives it a very moody, very delicate sort of feel to your painting. Let's get started on the balloon. Here we go. So I've already outlined it. Hot air balloon day. Again, you get to pick what your hot air balloon is going to be colored. I think I'm going to start with a lovely green. So I've got a few shades of green. Those of you just joining us, I'm doing a hot air balloon today on painting at home. I am Jean Moss and we are painting a hot air balloon. And again, I am going to just sort of do some watercolor for my hot air balloon. Let's start right at the top here and we're just going to color in and outline what we already have. Beautiful. Now, if you are able to draw a perfect circle, I invite it. I am on any given day except apparently for today. So we're going to just go ahead and sort of shape it up with paint. A perfect opportunity to shape up with paint. Here we go. So we're going to go on this side now. We've got our circle. I've chosen a beautiful green color, but I'm actually mixing colors. And go ahead and saturate your entire brush. Entire brush with color. There we go. I'm going to sort of even that circle out. This is going along very nicely with this beautiful green. I'm just wetting my brush again. And we've got a couple of different green colors. This Easter egg green, sort of more of a blue green, and then a regular just kind of grass green. So we're going to go this way. Great. So I've done the basket in crayon. We're noticing today we can use oh, a couple of different different tools for this painting. So we've chosen to use crayon and watercolor. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I'm looking forward to the weekend. I might go outside. Who knows? Maybe I'll stay in and paint some more. Look at this. So I'm just going to go right outside again. Oh, there we go. And there's the outline of my balloon. I think I'll take this at the bottom too. There we go. Just sort of get that bad boy colored into. We've added some color and now we have our shape, everybody. Now we have our shape. I'm just going to clean that up there. Ah, very good. There we go. And I'm stroking this one to my left. It might be your right. You double check. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in our balloon. Now again, you can paint yours whatever you want. I think I'll choose a rainbow color. I'm going to start with, this is a beautiful sort of red-orange color. We did not use this one yesterday. If you tuned in yesterday, we had wine and watercolor. Make sure you wipe your brush and wash your brush, I should say, just as an aside. In your water, I have a cup of water. I'm just cleaning my brush. There we go. So yesterday we tuned in, we did cherry blossoms. It's that time of year. Some of us have never seen cherry blossoms. I haven't, but you might have. So I'm going to draw, look at this, a bold idea here. I'm going to draw, oh, just a stripe right down the middle. And there's my balloon. There it is. We've made a choice. We're sticking to it. Fantastic. Let's do another one. I might thicken this out just a little bit. I've got a couple of different shades of red I'm playing with here. I love watercolors because you can just play. Just play with them, right? Just see what comes up. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to thicken this strip up just a little bit. Now, I'm doing a diagonal brush stroke. And again, I've done stick strokes, and then we have the diagonal. This is a sweeping brush stroke. It's sort of like you're playing a violin, right? Fantastic. Let's pick a different color. I'm going to wash my brush here. Okay. How about a purple? Ooh. Daring purple color. What about that? You know what I might do? I might mix my purple here. Look at this. I've got a lovely purple shade. I might mix it with a little bit of blue. Oh. Frisky Friday, I tell you. Frisky Friday. Here we go. Just another stripe here. Oh, this is going to come out beautifully. I'm not so sure where people might fly balloons. I imagine anywhere. Anywhere you can find one. I'd probably fly mine over some mountains. I've heard the mountains are just beautiful. So I've got this beautiful blue. And I added a little bit of purple to create kind of a violet color. That color is called violet. And I'm doing a broader stroke here, broader stripes. You pick your, your stripe shape if you want. Maybe you're drawing flowers on yours. Who knows? Who knows where the mind wanders? Who has any idea at all? I'm adding a little of that purple. And I'm just going to outline this one more time. And there's our hot air balloon. Wonderful. Now, as I've said before, sometimes people use things like canvas or, oh, I don't know. But I'm using just regular paper for my paintings. Just tape them together, throw them on your wall, oh shoot, whatever you want to do. Okay, there's another stripe there. Let's go ahead and add a third. I think a third and final stripe, and I'm feeling maybe the answer here is a yellow. I have a wonderful yellow color, and you know what? I'm not going to do a darn thing to it. Make sure you've washed off your brush. 
very completely. Just tap it. Just tap it. Here we go. And we're cleaning off our brush here. And check this out. I am not going to at all add any colors to this. Just that rich yellow. Look at that. And I will be shading this is what my plan is. And I'm adding a little bit of just shape to this stripe, right? This one goes down a little bit because balloons are round um, in theory. So we're going to go ahead and add some of that rounding to it. Very good. All right. Here we go. And there's our roundness. Fantastic. So that's our stripe and that's our general balloon um, design. So now we're I'm going to take, oh, let's see, perhaps this green and maybe mix it with a little pink. Let's see what that does. Maybe add some of that down here. Oh, this is a beautiful mauve. We talked about mauve a little bit yesterday. If you tuned into our cherry blossoms, we had quite a nice mauve going. I love the word mauve. Say it sometime to yourself. Just mauve. It's a wonderful color. Wonderful, moody color. We're going to add a little bit more of that. I've got this sort of pink and then we're going to add that just to our balloon here. Now I'm using watercolor for the balloon part. I used color crayon for the basket, which is a wonderful choice to sort of mix your, your materials, right? Mix the materials. Just kind of adds little textures to things. I don't know, shoot, whatever you want to do. I say, golly gee, go ahead and do it. Golly gee, I just made that up. Golly gee, you can stay and take it if you want to. All right. So lucky to have this beautiful sunshiny day. I'm just filling this in, right? But I'm not going to go into my stripe. I want to keep that bad boy just on its own. I decided my balloon is a nice mauve color, but I might go ahead and shade a little bit of green now. Just mix it up a little bit. Wipe your brush, wiping your brush, and then tap it right off. Those of you just joining us, hello, it's painting at home with Jean Moss. We are doing a hot air balloon today. I'm using watercolors for my balloon today. And then I used crayon for the basket. So I'm gonna go back into that green. This is where we outlined our, our balloon with. And I'm just gonna come back to that, give it a little shading. There's a little excess yellow to this one. I love that color. I love mixing colors. I feel like this balloon might have a little Easter quality to it. Maybe get us in the mood for the Easter season. I don't know. Whatever you celebrate, whatever you want, you get to pick. That. Oh, this is just a rich color. Oh, these colors are just absolutely delicious. Just beautiful colors. Just kind of doing a nice broad stroke. Now, those of you who don't know what a broad stroke is, it's a larger stroke. You can stroke broadly, you can stroke shortly, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do broad strokes again. Just mix that up right there. That's great. We're coming together nicely on this hot air balloon. Now, hot air balloons, for those of you who don't know, they do fly in the sky. So that means we have a wonderful opportunity here to draw some sky. We'll be coming up on that shortly after we fill in this balloon. I'm doing a diagonal sort of stroke here. Oh, there's our tape. Okay. We're coming up here on the finish line for our balloon. I'm using these beautiful watercolors, if you guys can see that. They are provided to me by Crayola. And my little next door neighbor boy, who wasn't home, so I was able just to go in and borrow some of these things. Very lucky to have him living next door. Wonderful. Just a couple more colors left, everyone. I think, coming up now, I would like to do a little bit of gray. Make sure you wash your brush completely. You will cross colors. Sometimes that's a happy accident. Sometimes, though, why mix with the color palette you're really trying to achieve? So you get to pick, you decide. Here's our gray, oh wonderful. Here's our gray, and we're just shading this in. This is a hot air balloon, sort of a rainbow colored hot air balloon. Again, you get to choose your designs. Maybe you want to draw flowers. Oh, maybe you want to draw, I don't know, bubbles or kittens or maybe manatee on one of yours, I don't know, whatever you like. We've outlined it. Here we go. We're just finishing up on our balloon here. And then we'll get to some broader strokes with the sky. Coming up here, you know how much I love to draw clouds and trees. So we're going to get to that in a moment. I love to think about cloud shapes. What are those clouds doing up there? What are they thinking? Who knows? Okay, we're 
else finishing up here on our higher one? This is watercolor paint that we're using, which means it only works with water. We've got one little section left. One little section left. And you know what I think I'm going to do is a deep red. A deep red. I've gotten a request to tell me, tell you uh, a little bit about my favorite balloon story. Oh boy, so many to choose from. Which one to pick? I will say one time I had a wonderful birthday party. Lots of friends showed up and I had a friend who brought a balloon over and it said, get well soon. I said, I'm not sick. It's just my birthday. Oh, we laughed. We laughed and had a cupcake. It was delicious. Okay, let's finish up our ready. That's probably one of my favorite balloon stories. I don't know. I think you probably all have a few balloon stories of your own. Maybe some of you have even ridden in a hot air balloon. I guess you can ride in them. That's what I read on Google. That's what they said on the old Google. All right, we're finishing up here. Wonderful. Getting very close here. Okay. And there's our balloon. We finished. Ah, uh, ta-da. Let me just make sure I outline these little straps. Now, we've got these strings or probably some kind of rope that I'm going to go ahead and do in just a brown. Bloop. There's one. Bloop. Actually, hot air balloons are supposed to run. My guess is that you have to blow up. So my guess is I think you just look up and blow, and that's what makes the balloon go. I don't know. Maybe some of you have ridden on one. You can fill me in later. Right? All right. Let's go ahead and get to that sky. That sky. Now, yesterday I did some wonderful cloud patterns, and I had a few colors that I just thought were absolutely tasty. So we're going to see if we can recreate those today. So I've got a blue, and watercolor is so perfect for sky. So perfect for sky. And then I've got this gray. You know what I might do? I'm feeling a little frisky on Friday. Let's go ahead and take blue, take a little gray, and oh, how about a little of this Easter egg pink? Oh, how about that? And now I'm going to do just these smaller circles, smaller circles for these cloud shapes. Look at that. There's one. There's one. Beautiful. And I love watercolor specifically because It'll fade out, and it'll create a little bit of shading. Look at this. Oh, yes. Majestic. Just a majestic cloud. There's one. Let's add a couple more. Isn't that color just absolutely divine? It is the most divine color, and I really think it's that pink that really does it. Okay, here's our blue, and a little bit of that pink. There we go. There we go. And how about a cloud? Oh, what about a little rascal right over here? There we go. I'm going to do these little circles. Now, again, these are counterclockwise circles. Up to you. I'm going to go clockwise. Shoot, go clockwise. There we go. We're just kind of shaping this. I'm going to just dip my brush one more time. Clean this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Clouds. Oh, I think they're my favorite things to paint. Clouds and trees. I love girth and I love fluff. My two favorite things in painting. Okay, we don't want that pink there. And let's just finish this cloud right up. Look at that. Oh, little rascal. I bet clouds have just the most fun. There we go. Okay, and how about one more cloud? Oh, let's say maybe down in the bottom corner. I'm gonna add a little more of that pink. That pink just adds that sort of gray color and it's just divine. And how about down here? Oh, let's see. Cloud right here. There we go. And maybe two little clouds. They're friends. Oh, there's one. Yes. Here you go. And let's go ahead and draw maybe a joining cloud. One that unites the two clouds. Let's see. Get a little more of that pink there. Him. Oh, right here, a little darker. Got these two clouds, they're best friends. And this one right here. Oh, da -da 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 -da. And then the one right in the middle there. Just creating little shapes in the clouds. I don't know, whatever you see in your clouds. Maybe it's a caterpillar or a, a bunny rabbit. I don't know. You pick. You get to pick what you see in your clouds. I see. Maybe almost a tree-like structure or, I don't know, something. There we go. 
we're just gonna finish this bad boy off. Let's make this bad boy a big one today. Oh yes. Maybe maybe there's some weather ahead, I don't know. That's got a good shape to it. Just finish that right off using my water, using my blue, using my gray, and then a little bit of that pink. Just to get that kind of sort of sunshiny. start adding some streaks. And here's what I'm going to do. You get to do what you want to do in your painting if you want. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little of that yellow. Just kind of grab it. A little bit of this Easter egg orange. Oh yes, wonderful. I'm going to start to just stroke upwards. And this is our sunny sky today. I'm going to do something kind of fun with you guys today. I'm going to draw our paint. And then we maybe even throw in a little bit of crayon at the end there, just to blend everything. See how we feel about that. Here we go. We're just drawing our sky. Ta-da! Drawing a bit of yellow. And yeah, we're just adding a little sun. Just a little sun behind. You do whatever you want. There's our sun. Now I'm doing another diagonal pattern. I find I like my sky to go upward. Now you can draw it downward. It's going to get the same effect. See, this is just showing you, you can go down or you can go up. It's up to you. Some people prefer going down. That's okay. You can go down on whatever you want to. Here we go. I'm going to go up. Okay, we're just about finished with our sky here. Then I'm going to add in a couple little frilly details to my sky just to liven it up a little bit with my balloon. We've got some puffy clouds really wonderful puffy clouds. I'm just brightening this up with a little bit of yellow. And then we have this wonderful Easter egg orange, which I think is just so perfect for a bright, sunshiny sky on a Friday. My water balloons, or rather hot air balloon, is coming together very nicely. Maybe you're painting a water balloon. I don't know. Some people might even say a balloon is a balloon. Okay. We're just about done with our sky here. Such a rich color. Such a nice gentle golden yellow. Such a nice gentle color. There's our sky. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so now comes the fun part. And I brought back a special surprise today. And that would be our glitter crayons. Here's what I think is going to be great. I wonder if we add a flock of birds. So I'm going to make my birds today now a little bit glittery. Here's how one draws birds. From what I've seen, um, we're going to grab, let's see, oh, Maybe this black gold color I have. We've done this before. We used this one in our cityscape and we also used it in our seascape. It's a black gold color. Here we go. I'm going to draw little birds just down here. Here's a bird. Oh, there's a bird. And here's a bird. Some birds take shapes. Our birds are going to take a little bit of a shape. Maybe a V. Or birds flying bees sometimes. And there's our flock of birds. Look at that. And now to capture this sky just a little bit more interestingly with textures, I'm going to do something a little bit nuts. I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, this brilliant, remember these glitter crayons? This pop and purple. Pop and purple is one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and do one of these more staccato strokes. What I'm showing you all is the freedom one has when they use different materials. You can use watercolor, you can use crayon, you can use them both. How lucky are we? We can use both. I'm just blending things together. Oh, there are my beautiful puffy clouds. Here we go. We're just about finishing up here. Look at that. And there we have some texture. Did that staccato stroke again so you get to pick whatever you want to do okay let's zoom in and have a look at this bad boy our hot air balloon
I wonder what they're looking down at in there. What a wonderful day. A fantastic Friday indeed, using both watercolor and crayon. This has been Painting at Home with Jean Moss. I, of course, am Jean Moss, and I invite you to find some balloons in your life today, or think of your favorite balloon story. I'll see you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend.